A couple months back, we talked about the top five rackets for control. Now, I've been waiting to do this one until the shift got its full release, but it's here, so we finally get to tackle the top five rackets for spin. Hey everybody, it's Luca from Rackets and Runners. Now, our Control Rackets video got a ton of positive feedback, so I was very excited to do another category, and I think that Spin Rackets were kind of the logical successor. Spin Rackets are super interesting because they were introduced about 20 years ago, but they've developed so much over the years, and in 2023, we've got a huge variety of what could be considered a Spin Racket, which brings me nicely to my first bit of criteria. Obviously, you can hit spin with any racket, but for the purpose of this video, we're only going to be discussing rackets that have some sort of marketed spin technology, and it's gotta go beyond having a standard 16 by 19 string pattern. Anything that's marketed as spin tech is a go, so spin grommets, spin tech in the layup, even a more spin-oriented string bed density and shape, those are all some sort of spin tech, and every racket on this list will have something like that. Now before we go on, I did just want to remind everybody that every racket you see on this list, you can check out on our website, racketsandrunners.ca, and please remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know down in the comment section down below what your favorite spin racket is, and if you disagree with any of the ones on this list. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram, at lucavb underscore, Score. I'll post it on the screen here, but basically I'm starting to post some more teasers and more behind the scenes type stuff about what I'll be reviewing for that week. But anyways, back to the criteria. We've already established that there needs to be some sort of spin marketing going on within the racket. And the other thing that I want to make abundantly clear is that this isn't a ranking of the rackets that produce the most spin. First off, I don't really have a legitimate controlled way of testing RPMs, but even if I did, that's not really the point of this video. I'm more interested in doing a ranking of these rackets overall performance with, of course, a heavy emphasis on their spin. The reason I'm so passionate about that is because basically several years ago, the industry got so caught up in making rackets that produced otherworldly spin that they lacked so much in other playability characteristics, and the final products were just not that great. So basically, a racket might technically produce a few more RPMs than another one on this list, but if that racket has better overall playability, it can be ranked higher. Coming in at number five, we've got the new 2023 Yonex V-Core 100. Now, the V-Core line has always been Yonex's spin line, but honestly, up until the 2023, I wasn't all that convinced. For one, they weren't particularly spin friendly, but that's kind of a problem when you have a spin racket. Yes, they had a 16 by 19 string pattern, but they weren't that quick, and they didn't have that much other added spin tech, and also they were just okay rackets, so it's a good thing that Yonex went for a total upheaval here in 2023. They introduced a plethora of spin-oriented technology, the biggest one being, as you can see, they drastically squared off the shape here at the top of the racket, and the string bed density here in the top of the hoop is super open. Having such an open string bed here means there's plenty of room for the strings to snap back and dig into the ball for more spin production, but they didn't just stop there. Now I know sometimes I get a little bit sarcastic about the technology names going on inside a racket, so you can only imagine how excited I was to hear that this had silicone oil infused grommets because I really wanted to roast it, but honestly they work surprisingly well. Not only do they actually help in amplifying string snapback here, but they don't make the string bed too inconsistent in doing so, which a lot of snapback technology has been guilty of in the past. Changing up the shape, especially redesigning the throat down here, also helped in making the V-Core 100 drastically more solid and stable than it was before. I also just wanted to point out that I was very close to swapping out the 100 for the 98 because of my better overall racket criteria, but I don't actually think that applies to these two. Sure, the 98 has better control and precision, but the V-Core 100 actually has better spin potential and is a more user-friendly racket, so they're actually pretty close in terms of overall playability, and in a tiebreaker, it's gotta be the one that's more spin-friendly that wins. Okay, coming in at number four, we've got the brand new Wilson Shift 99. And yes, I know this is the prototype, we're talking about the real one here, but I had to give that one up for demo. You can always demo your racket at Rackets and Runners. Now the shift is a funny one because it wasn't exactly marketed as a spin racket, but it definitely is a spin racket. Go watch the review we posted last week for more details, but here are the cliff notes. Basically, Wilson have laid up the shift's graphite so that it reacts optimally to a modern spin-friendly stroke. When you hit spinning ground strokes, you can almost feel the graphite shift in and out of position as it pockets the ball and shoots it out with more spin than a more standard layup would. I don't want to get too technical about how they've done that, but basically what Wilson has done here is lowered the racket's vertical flex this way which allows for more ball pocketing, especially when you're swinging the racket parallel to the ground. It's actually super cool and techy, but the end product really does work. It has this extremely unique positive feel to it when you do engage that vertical flex, 
that becomes extremely addictive. The only issue with the shift is that it does lack in some performance aspects when you're not hitting with spin, which is true of some of the other rackets on this list, but really applies to the shift. It doesn't love flat hitting. It feels pretty muted and jarring when you do go for flat shots, and it does require quite a bit of customization if you do want to be competitive with big hitters. With that said, it's actually got more control than you might expect. The sweet spot is quite small, so it's very precise when you do hit that modern ground stroke. So it actually does have more control than some of the 100s on this list. Those of you who follow this channel more closely know just how big a fan I am of the shift. Honestly, it being as low as number four isn't a knock on its performance. It's just more so a reflection of just how phenomenal the other three spin rackets are here. Okay, so coming in at number three, we've got the Babolat Pure Aero 98. And what a racket it is. It really is truly unique in its performance. And you don't really need me to tell you that. Just look at who's endorsing it. Alcaraz is pretty much confirmed to be using the current 98. Rune could be the current one or the VS, which is really similar. And Felix, we don't really know. But yeah, three top, top pros are currently using it pretty much much and their styles really do typify what this racket represents. It's a modern spin racket in the truest sense. It's a spin racket at heart, but probably has the best all around playability of any spin racket out there. It has the smallest head size on this list and that gives it an element of control that you're just not going to get with any of the others. Most other spin rackets really wanna be hit with the most modern spinny style possible. But with the Aero 98, because it does have that great control profile, you can really punch through your shots without worrying that they're going to fly. And it also has great great feel for a wider variety of shots than most other spin rackets. Alcaraz really is the perfect flag bearer for the Aero 98, especially if you want to see what style it's going to work best for. He obviously hits with a ton of spin, but also goes for big shots that require control, and he probably has the most wide variety of shot selection of any player definitely currently, maybe ever. Obviously, it's his talent that allows him to play that way, but the Aero 98 really does complement him perfectly. It's actually hilarious. As soon as it seems Nadal's career is coming to an end, Babolat land another potential future GOAT who is literally the perfect ambassador for his racket the same way Nadal was. That recruiting team needs to be studied. Coming in at number two, we've got the Head Auxetic Extreme MP. Now this is a funny one to me because it's kind of a similar story to what it was with the control rackets where number two is technically more spin friendly than number one. At this point, it's probably pretty obvious what number one is, but I don't want to spoil it just yet. So here's what I'll say. The newest version of the number one racket on this list went on a pretty substantial spin diet this time, leaving the Extreme MP as the kind of token spin beast in the industry. It's the most spin friendly racket right now, so if that's what you're looking for, look no further. It has a super open 16 by 19 string pattern that I know you can't see here, but just imagine it. And it also has these massive spin grommets at the 12 and six o'clock position, which do a very good job of amplifying string snapback. It's also pretty well aerodynamically optimized here in the throat, so it really likes to be hit parallel to the ground with that windshield wiper style. It's also a racket that has gotten much, much better over the years. Head is on this crazy redemption story right now where pretty much every single racket in their lineup is the best version of that racket that we've seen for at least a decade and a half, and it's definitely true for the Extreme MP. Now the Extreme is obviously going to be very spin friendly, but it still has a decent amount of control to it as well. The Auxetic technology in the throat here really does help to give it great feel, so you'll have pretty good connection to the ball. And yes, that string bed is quite open and those spin grommets do help amplify string snapback, but they don't make it too wild or inconsistent. That being said, it's the racket in heads line and the one on this list that's probably the most spin centric. I would probably pass on the Extreme MP if your game style isn't based off of grinding spin from the baseline. Okay, before we get into number one, let's do some honorable mentions. Now, I sort of mentioned the V-Core 98 earlier, but I'll mention it here since this is made for mentions and it's very honorable, so it deserves a mention. How many times can I fit mention into a sentence? Mention, 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 me well, now it's lost its meaning. Basically, the V-Core 98 is kind of like the Aero 98 in that it's a modern spin racket with plenty of control elements to it. And keeping that modern spin rackets theme going, the Extreme Tour also deserves a shout. It's another racket that's very spin friendly, but has plenty of control as well. All right, enough with those honorable mentions. Let's get into number one. The best spin racket in the world for July of 2023 is the Babolat Pure Aero Standard 2023. If you guess this, then you are a true genius. Just kidding. It was about as obvious as predicting that Djokovic is going to win Wimbledon. Just for reference, I am recording this on Saturday, July 15th, so he has not won Wimbledon yet. So it's going to be super awkward if he does lose tomorrow, but when he does win in straight sets, I'll be justified. What makes this pure arrow so good though? 
Remember when I mentioned that the industry had gone a little too crazy with spin for the last decade? Well, the 2016 and 2019 Pure Arrows basically represented that to a T. Over the last several years, the trend was definitely going away from that crazy spin, and Babolat totally delivered with the newest arrow. They drastically closed up the string bed density here, going for one main skip instead of two in the string pattern. If you compare an old arrow's string bed to the new one, they are just totally different. They also made it a bit softer and gave it much, much better feel. The previous couple of arrows were a bit muted and very disconnected to the ball, but with the NF2 Tech Flax inserts here in the layup, the feel is probably the best of any arrow I've ever used. The previous two arrows also had these gargantuan spin grommets, which were great for amplifying string snapback and spin in that way, but they made for such a wild and unpredictable response that those rackets weren't really all that solid. Those spin grommets are gone, and while they're technically still called spin grommets on the 2023, they're much more standard and closed off. Now, obviously, all these changes have resulted in slightly less spin, but what it's gained in control, feel, solidity, stability, and consistency compared to the previous two arrows makes it such a better racket than those, and easily the best spin racket on the market right now. For those of you worried that it has lost too much spin, don't be. It still has plenty of spin and that classic arrow shape, which means it's just going to excel when you're hitting with it parallel to the ground, but it just doesn't require spin the same way the last two did. It's just such a well-rounded racket. Okay, it's pretty obvious that I really like the Arrow 100, and yes, it's one of those rackets that's on my short list for racket switches. I keep talking about my short list and switching rackets, and I never actually do make the switch, but I promise there is going to be a video coming soon about my racket journey or at least soon-ish. But those were the five best rackets for spin right now. Honestly, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The industry is in a really good place right now. These are all really good rackets. There are options for everybody and each one of the rackets on this list is unique in some way, which is really cool because that hasn't always been the case. That is going to be it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And remember that you can come by the store to demo any of these rackets or you can check them out online at racketsandrunners.ca.